Hey guys, we gotta talk about MetaZoo. Uh, Rudy's current video and his understanding of a local game store is exactly why MetaZoo went to zero. So one of the reasons MetaZoo has performed poorly is due to the fact that they just don't get it. They just don't get it. When you are, when you are a individual, when you own a store, you are not looking to store boxes and hold heavy boxes and have a warehouse for boxes. You need mother effing cash flow. Meaning, even if you believe this product is going to the moon, you need to sell the product because that's how you get money to buy the new product. This isn't an invest. The idea that this is in an investment that like a local game store should invest and hold on to these boxes is asinine. It's not true. It, it's a lie that he's perpetrating the alpha investment. And this is the whole MetaZoo thing. The reason MetaZoo was always going to fail in their nicely written letter, they were going to focus on local game stores. And no local game store in their right mind. It's going to pay $70 from their distributor for a product that's going to end up at $50 or less in a few months. And that cannot sell. You, as a local game store, your objective is to sell at a profit. If you cannot sell at a profit, you hopefully break even. Selling. But if you cannot break even selling, you have to sell at a loss. And this is what making Rudy all mad and angry, right? Like these are heavy bag. These each of these heavy bags is a paycheck to an employee. Each of these heavy bags you see behind him is new inventory. It's money for new inventory. If I, I promise you this, I've run, I've run many comp. I've done the marketing for over a hundred companies. If you don't have anything new to sell to your customers, and every time the customer goes into your store and they see the same stupid boxes over and over again. Except the box price is now increased in price. Six nine, six nine. <laughs> You're gonna go broke. <laughs> the, the objective of a local game store isn't to build a pyramid of box. It's to sell the box, move on. Like a lot of the inventory I have, I can't sell at the time. Evolutions, I had 10 cases of it. We ripped a, a case like a month ago. It was really fun. I couldn't sell it, guys. I couldn't sell it. That's why I have it. Um, I'm looking right now. Fusion Strike. I couldn't sell it. That's why I have it. Um, I'm looking around. Chilling Rain. Couldn't sell it. That's why I have it. Evolving Skies. It might be surprising to you, but Evolving Skies, I couldn't sell. Like I couldn't sell it at the time. I mean, I mean, it's different today, but a lot of my best product, I had these Gengar tins that sell for like $80 on eBay now. I bought them. I was trying to sell them for $10, $12 at the time, and then they didn't sell, so I put them in storage, and now they're $80 a tin. They got something called hidden treasures in them, if you understand what that set is. Guys, this is not going to work for MetaZoo. It was never going to work because the margins, the cash flow... The profit, it was never going to work. I think Alpha Investment, you're a game store, okay? You're buying this box for 70. The partners are buying this box for less than 70. And they get gold medals that they're bundling, right? They're bundling all this shit together. And you're like, wait, why is no one buying from me? Is it because you can buy a bundle from Alpha Investments with a Alpha Investment promo supposedly worth a $100? Well, where's my promo? Oh, you don't have a promo. Where's my gold? I don't, you don't have a gold medal. Well, how am I going to compete? These games are... Flesh and Blood figured it out. And that's why he... Alpha Investment does not talk about no Flesh and Blood no more. They were on the same trajectory as Alpha Investments. Until the local game stars stood up and said, No mas. No more. No more, Rudy Chan. Because Rudy Chan kept undercutting them. So they cut undercut. I'm pretty sure half his patrons are just hate watching. They're paying him money just to send me screenshots of the shit that goes down, and it's beyond bizarre. I mean, it's so some of this stuff is so bizarre. I don't think it's real, and that's why I don't post about it because I feel like 
they're like trying to bait me into it. Only when I get like five or six emails like together in a very short period of time can I then be like, okay, I think this is real. Guys, this is very bizarre. Like that MetaZoo was going to focus on local game stores. That was their plan. No local game store with any IQ would ever carry a product like this because of alpha investments. Why carry a product for a game? It's the same thing with Flesh and Blood. You can watch Fluke and Box, and he does a very good job explaining it. Like, if you're a local game store, and you provide a safe place to play, you provide some promos, maybe you even hire a judge, maybe you hire an employee who's well-versed in Flesh and Blood, this has cost. So you are paying more money to provide a community and that community is going to F you over by buying from Alpha Investments. Why Why have that community? Just say, okay, things shut down. Pokemon's never done a Rudy promo before. Bandai will never do one. Like, these, there are the card. Magic the Gathering will never do one. Yu-Gi-Oh! is never going to do Konami will never do one. <laughs> At all. They did one of um a kid. It was like Tyler the Great Hero. It's a one of one. It's a very valuable and meaningful card. They don't do one every mother effing set of Rudy Chan. Like, it has no value to it. I mean, it's like, who is this guy from that card? It is, he is the problem. Point blank. He is the problem. Why this game never got off? If I'm a local game store, and I know there's a dude selling these for 620 or 490, 69, whatever he's selling them for. And he's getting promos, and I'm not getting promos of myself. Why carry the product when there's another game, Flesh and Blood, Magic the Gathering, Konami? Like, there's so many other products where I can actually compete. And that's all I care about. It's fair competition. MetaZoo was always going to fail because of Alpha Investments. And that's exactly what Flesh and Blood figured out. And that's why their game is going well. I mean, it's still existing. It still has a player base. And and Rudy complains about all these local game stores screenshotting his low prices and so on, right? Why do you think they did that? To save their game. These are heroes. These aren't the villains of the story, Rudy. These are the heroes of the story. Because if you, they didn't do that, their game would end up exactly like MetaZoo. You can't compete against an online seller who has exclusive promos of himself as a game store. You cannot compete because you will be obliterated by these hundreds of dollars of promos being bundled and they're calculated and so on. That relation, Konami, Konami, which is Yu-Gi-Oh! Hasbro, which is Magic the Gathering, the, um, Nintendo, which is Pokemon, they don't give preferential treatment to the extent of making promo cards of a person trying to dump the product. Only one company to this day has really done that, and that's MetaZoo, or has continued to do that. You're pissing off every local game store, and Rudy knows it because he complains about it all the time. And no local game store will carry your product. 